Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Now you're in my cauldron. Let's see what's inside. Who would have thought a pink rhinestone skull had no brains? Hi, I'm Mish D. Max, and I'm here to show you this makeup look. It's witch themed, and it's a way to go out for Halloween without painting your whole face green. And all you need is a witch's hat and a broom. I chose purple colors for the eye makeup, and some green shades for the contouring and eyebrows. So let's get to the Eye of Newton frog's leg. After you put on your optional crazy wig, what you want to do is prime your eyelids. I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this will make your Halloween makeup stay on all night. Then I'm going to add a colored base and I'm taking this eyeshadow base from Sigma and it's called Pursue. I'm using the tip of my finger and I'm going to apply it to both my lids. And you want to blend that up towards your crease. I'm taking it out towards my temples a bit and blending it quite high up. You can take a bit more if you want to make it more pigmented. Then I'm taking a bit of this MAC Paint Pot in black ground and adding it to the outer corners. Once again using a bit on the edge of my finger and blending that in. I'm just blending that on the outer third of my eye and blending it out towards the temples. Then I'm taking this Lime Crime Magic Dust in the color Empress and it's this nice purple shimmery pigment. And I'm going to apply that to my lid with the Urban Decay Shadow Brush. Starting from the middle and I'm going to apply that to the inner two thirds of my eye. And just blend that slightly into the crease. Then I'm going to take the Sugar Bill Cold Chemistry Palette and apply the shade Elemental Chaos. I'm taking that with the same brush and applying it next to Empress. Make sure you blend those two together as well. Just making a rough winged shape and taking that into my crease. Then I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Shadow in Young Punk on the same brush and darkening up the outer corner. Take some of that along the lash line too and up into the crease. I'm going to apply my brow highlight, which is MAC Vellum, and I'm going to use the Sigma E50 Large Fluff Brush to do it. This is a cool violet duochrome shadow. Also bring that into your inner crease. Then I'm going to take the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and blend out the crease. I'm going to apply a touch more Elemental Chaos with that brush. Because it's Halloween, you can make this makeup as extreme as you want to, but for me, I'd do it any day of the year. Also take a bit more of the Young Punk on that brush to blend on the inside. Extend out the shadow towards your temples. You can take a bit of matte black if you want to darken it up further, and I'm going to use the Sigma E47 Shader Crease Brush with Sugar Pill Bulletproof. And you can touch up with the Sugar Pill Elemental Chaos Shadow too. And also more Young Punk. some Elemental Chaos on the Real Techniques Brace Shadow Brush again, and a touch more vellum for the brow. I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and put that on my tear duct. And then blend that in with your finger. Then I'm going to take vellum again with the Sigma E46 Shader Lid Brush and apply that to my tear duct. I like the eerie look that this shadow has. Also blend this onto the inner lid. For the lower lash line, I'm going to use Milani Liquid Eye Pencil in Perfect Purple. I'm taking this all the way along the lash line and then blending it out with a Q-tip. I'm adding a bit more to make it thicker and blending again. Then I'm going to take MAC Young Punk again and run that along the lower lash line with the Urban Decay Shadow Brush. You can blend the inner corner highlight with the same brush that had vellum on it. You can take a bit of Bulletproof from Sugar Pill and the Sigma E47 Shader Crease Brush and apply that to the outer edge. Join that up to the rest of the eye makeup. You can blend that with the Real Techniques brush with a bit of Empress left on it. I'm taking Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner in Perversion and putting that on my upper lash line. I'm starting with a thin line along my lash line and then I'm going to take it out into a wing. Then I'm going to run the Inglot Gel Liner in 77 with this random pencil over my tight line and waterline. I just smear the pencil in the gel liner and then apply it to my waterline. You can also run that in between your eyelashes. Now onto brows, I want to do something fun, so I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and run that through my brows. When you've got that done, I'm going to take Subterranean from the Sugar Pill Cold Chemistry Palette and use the Real Techniques Brow Brush and set my brows. I'm trying to give my brows a touch more angle with a peak at the top. Wow. 
something like that. I want to add a touch more green to that, so I'm using the Sugar Pill Pigment in Absinthe, which is nice and bright green. I'm using the same brush and just dabbing that on top. I'm doing that mainly in the front two thirds. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up some fallout with the makeup wipe. You can also shape up those brows as well. I'm going to do my normal foundation routine with priming my face with Porefessional Primer from Benefit, then using Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation in 51 Vanilla, then concealing with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15, then adding some powder to the center of my face with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. Now to blend out my makeup over my foundation, I'm going to use the base shadow brush from Real Techniques. I'm also using the setting brush with powder on it to blend over that too. I'm also adding a touch of Elemental Chaos on the end of that brush and running it along my lower lash line. For mascara, I'm going to apply CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And also plenty for the lower lashes. Now for some false lashes, I'm going to use these Striptease False Lashes from Girls With Attitude. I'm not going to cut these lashes, but I am going to apply them further out on the outside of my eye to extend the elongated shape. Then you want to add a little bit more liquid eyeliner to hide the lash band. Then I'm going to apply a bit more mascara to join my natural lashes to my false lashes. Okay, now for the rest of the face, and I want to do a green blush and contour to match with the witchy theme. I'm going to start with that pigment from Sugar Pill Absinthe that I used in my brows. I'm going to take the Real Techniques contour brush and just dip it into the lid and see what happens. Then I'm going to take this Duochromatic Turquoise Pigment and add it as a highlight. I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. Blend that down into the blush. I'm also adding Lumi to my Cupid's bow. Just blending it out with my powder brush. Then Lumi's going to go down all the high points of my face, down the center of my nose and my chin as well. And I'd put it on my forehead too, even though you won't be able to see it. Now you can blend that in with your powder brush. I'm building up that blush a bit more. I also want to add a touch of golden to that highlight, so I'm going to use NARS Albatross Highlighter and the Hakuhodo S113 Highlight Brush. I'm also going to take that absinthe shade along my jawline. Also take it up around any place that you contour, like your forehead and temples. Then to deepen up that contour, I'm going to take Subterranean and apply it to my cheekbones. I'm still using the Real Techniques contour brush. Also take that through all the other parts of the contour. You basically want to shade the outer perimeter of your face. Also blend out that subterranean shade with the absinthe pigment. I'm going to take a touch of this sparkly electro pigment from Sugar Pill, which is called Sparkage, and apply that to the highlight too. Just taking a touch of that and adding it between the highlight and the blush. Just blending that around the outer edge all over. Touch of that on the Cupid's bow too. And down the center of the face too. You can also contour your nose with these shades if you'd like. I'm just using a touch of Subterranean. I'm using my powder brush to blend that all out a little. Okay, that's how you get a green complexion without actually painting your face green. Just adding a bit more powder to the center of my face to brighten it up. Lastly for the lips, I'm going to clean the foundation off them. So I'm going to prime my lips with MAC Prep and Prime Lip. Adding some green to the cupid's bow, make it a bit more creepy. Then I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Chromographic Pencil in rich purple. And I'm going to fill them in. Then I'm going to take this Lime Crime Lipstick in Poison Berry and apply it to my lips. Don't forget to remove the excess so you have no lipstick on your teeth all night. You can leave the lip like that or add something else. I'm going to add some black lipstick to the outside corners with Portland Black Lipstick Company Black Lipstick. Then I'm going back in with the purple lipstick to blend. 
and I'm redefining the outer edge with NYX Blackberry Lip Liner. Lastly, going in with Rich Purple one more time. So there's that, and if you want a little something extra, you can add this Ill Masker Intense Lip Gloss in Boost. I'm just taking some of that onto a Q-tip and then applying it to my lips. There you go, some in the center. These smell so delicious, really. And lastly, I'm going to stick on some of these black rhinestones with a greenish tinge. And I'm going to use my Embelly Jelly and Duo Lash Glue to do it. I'm going to take some lash glue with this toothpick and apply it to my molds that I already have. You can add some extra ones if you want to. Then I'm going to take the rhinestones and pop them right on. And when the lash glue dries, it goes clear, just like on your false lashes, so you'll be fine if you put some excess on like me. So there's my witchy woman Halloween look. Just use any purple and green products you have around your makeup kit, and you can make it work. Of course, if you don't want to do a standard purple and green witch, you can pick any colors you like. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween tutorial, and subscribe for more videos. Click the little boxes if you want to see other tutorials of mine. And let's, let's see, see what's, what's inside. inside. What does pretty Mr. Rhinestone Skull want to do? What does he want to do? He wants to put on makeup! Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble. Let's see what's inside my brain. <laughs>